the healthiest boudin balls ever made with brown rice this is boston but pork roast and i seasoned it with tony salt and pepper and you can use the season of your choice this is celery onions a little bell pepper I cooked this roast for 50 minutes in the instant pot and it's tender like butter. I even used a plastic fork to cut it just to show you how tender it is. Season to perfection. It seals in all of your seasoning. You see that? You could just cut it with a little plastic fork. This is my favorite piece of equipment in the kitchen ever. It's just that tender. I'm going to use that to make my boudin balls with. That's the old Instant Pot right there. Still letting you all see how tender the meat came out to be. Um, I put in the onions and the bell pepper and sauteed everything down. There's the brown rice. You can also use ripe white rice. I put one cup of liver in it. And there's everything together. I let it sit in the refrigerator for 45 minutes so that it could become a little stiff so that I can form the boudin balls. So that's bell pepper, onions, and a little garlic. And you're also going to see a little green onions in there. And I use salt, pepper, and Tony's. I also use something new, and it's called Chef Prompadon. It's a seasoning salt. I think I'm saying the name right. I got it from watching Charlie Andrews on YouTube. So he uses that seasoning all the time. There's the egg that I use to dip the balls in. And now following that, I dip them in the flour. And then off to the frying pan they go. And there you have it. So simple, yet tasty. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Food and balls, Louisiana style. That's Romalade that I tweaked myself. I bought it at a grocery store, but I added a few things in it. One day I'm going to learn how to make my own because I'm I haven't found one that I really like yet, other than at the restaurants.